We're going to begin tonight with breaking news out of East Point, where a fire ripped through an apartment complex, killing a little girl. Police say her, her mother remains unaccounted for at this hour. 11 Alive's Don White spoke to the man who is credited with saving the lives of about a dozen people out there. Don? Ron and Jennifer, I'm here outside of the Brookfield Apartments, and it's here where a Thanksgiving Eve fire displaced seven families, took the life of a child, and now the search for her mother is on. The hum of fire engines fills the air outside this apartment complex as the sense of loss fills the heart of Ricardo Tolbert. And I noticed smoke coming from the backside of D building. So I ran up there and I was knocked on the door as hard as I could and hollering, get out, get out, fire, fire. The man known to people who live here as Uncle Toll sprung into action, risking his life to save his neighbors. And I busted the window out and raised the window up and I yelled in there and the baby raised her hand and I snatched her up out of there. Tolbert says he then tried to go back into the apartment to save the little girl's twin and her mother. And I reached in and unlocked the door and then I went in to try to go in to see can I save anybody else. And I couldn't make it too far because of the smoke and the fire so I had to come back out. And I made three attempts. They happened to a uh, apartment to left above me. And I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be here if he ain't come knock on my door. Aquinas Barber is another person who's alive thanks to the quick action of Tolbert who he calls a hero. I opened to him and he get out the house, the house on fire and I, I go out and looked up, the roof caught in less than no time and everything just go to falling in. As these people pick up the pieces of what they used to call home, they thank Uncle Toll for his selfless actions on Thanksgiving Eve. Around over in the little circle, we all consider a family because if anybody needs anything, they can come to one another. And we was there for each other. Tolbert tells me the little girl that he saved from that fire is about five years old. The fire department tells us that she is in the hospital right now being treated for burns. The cause of this fire is under investigation and the Red Cross is assisting the families who were displaced. We will continue to follow the search for the girl's mother and as soon as we get updates, we'll post them on 11alive.com. Jennifer? A heartbreaking story tonight, Don. Thank you.